that'll be it. Okay. Yeah, it was an awesome strike coffee junkie. That's why it's a daily. You only get to use it once a day. All right. Free, you're up now. Free is down here. I'm just checking, Dave. Would I like be able to pass the board the potion I have? Uh, would that take up a minor fraction? action? It takes a. I think it takes a. Isn't it a minor to drink? Yeah, a minor is to drink a potion. You pulled it out last round. Yeah, minor to drink. So it would be minor to drink? Yeah, I, I don't want to drink, but I want to pass this Leopold. You uh, then drink. I mean, you'd have to go over and give it to him. So, I mean, you're going to. I mean, I can, I can, I'll let you go over and do it, but you're going to be within range of the Drake, you know what I mean? Okay, so uh, I use my action to attack with Hellish Rebuke. Okay. Hellish Rebuke. Your enemy is scoured in hellish flames, stoked by your anger and pain. If you are injured, the flame bursts into That's 22 fire. against reflex. That is a hit. Uh, four fire damage, okay. You notice that uh, several wounds have opened up and it is now in the bloody condition. Otaku boy, thank you very much. How's for my Drake? Uh, it is not bloody, Gim. Okay. Yep, I'll let you know for sure. I then, uh, I then move up, uh, as I'm moving up, I'll, uh, mention to Leopold, uh, take this, you can use it. Uh, hand over the potion. Okay. Thank you, bro. All right, so I have a Drake. This is the Drake on Gim. It is attacking relentlessly. It didn't like that strike that you uh, just gave it, Gim. Uh, 15 versus armor class, probably a miss, right? Miss. Yes. Tough right. kitty, says the kitty when the milk ran dry. I'm gonna go ahead and shift back one. And that's it for the Drake. Next up is the Gnome. I will go ahead and shift over Difficult Terrain while staying on the ledge. I will go ahead and attack the Warlord three times with the Flurry of Sling Stones. Stone Rain. First is a miss. 20 versus armor class. Second one. That's a hit. Second's a 16, which I think is a miss. That's a miss. Alright. Take a total of 7 damage. And that's it for my gnome. Alright. Drake on Leopold. Uh, the Drake... Oh, uh, fuck his couch. Yeah, the Drake is gonna smelling the blood on on Leopold. You're you're not blooded anymore, are you? Or are you? Sorry? Nah, I'm still bloody. Yeah, I'm still bloody. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attack Leopold with the Drake. So that'll be uh, 18 on AC. Oh, right on the money. Yeah, right on the money. He lashes out and snatches it with his teeth for 11. <laughs> you go down again. Unbelievable. Shitty luck, dude. Skeletor! I'm sitting on uh, negative one, I believe. You go back to life and death saving throws. The potion falls on the ground as you, as your bloody corpse slumbers on the, on the ground again. Alright. The Drake attacked... I believe that will be it for the Drake. Ren, what say you? 
Oh god, as uh, Leopold goes down again, I cast the healing word on him. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll your, uh, that's your last, uh... I tried to help, uh, too late. <laughs> yeah, you did. That it, it, is... Yep, that's my last minor your last one. for I this will, encounter. I will turn, you still have Cure Light Wounds, but, uh, I will yep. turn your healing word card over. You are, uh, you are down. So, deduct a healing surge, and you get back, uh, surge value plus four. All right. Come on, Leo. The Riven Queen will not have you just yet. You can do it, Leopold. Anything <laughs> else for you, Ren? Any movement? Um, yep. So, I will be moving closer towards the battle up here. Okay. All right, so good old, good old Agrid here. I will go mm -hmm. ahead and use a miner to pull out my war pick. I pull out my war pick, and I attack. I'm gonna attack Peter. Plus seven, one d eight. Oh, I used a miner, so I still have I still have an action to do, so I can still cast. Okay, go ahead and Lands do that. Okay, I'm going to cast it on the female gnome. Okay. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I, I didn't do anything. Okay, and that's it. Hmm. All right, so now I will take this war pick and try to stick it directly into Peter's helmet. And I think I do with kind of hard to do when you're so small. I think I do with the 19 as he jumps up and that's a barely a hit. Smashes the helm of uh of the warlord there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give you some damage. 1d8 plus 5. Ooh. 12 damage from the gnome. Actually a pretty stout little hit from this little guy. That <clears throat> bloodies me. I'm going to go ahead and shift as well. Move you to bloodied. And that's it. Leopold, you're up. You're prone, sir. So if you okay. want to stand up, we'll take your movement action from you. Okay. Uh, so that's my movement action. Um... Don't forget, you guys have because my, points, too. And I want to make sure I'm right, right? I, I can't shift now because uh, my movement action's gone. That is that is correct, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, there, uh, there are other alternatives just... uh, for you. There are, all other, there are other alternatives if you want to move. You being a rogue, you just got to look at, the, look at your cards. He's got like a slide he could use. He's got a couple things he could use. He's just not using them. And uh, I want to make sure on the encounters and all that stuff, you can only use those once because I've already used Nimble Strike. So your your Nimble Strike, yes, that is that is correct. Uh, can I use? Uh, I'm gonna use uh, the encounter card Tumble then. Yeah. Okay. So I can uh, so at least shift behind this too. thing. Yeah. You can you can shift a number of squares equal to uh, half your speed, but you cannot shift through creatures. So you Dave, can. That doesn't that use up his move action? Let's see. What does it take? Uh, it does take a move action actually. So uh, you are not able to use it unless you want to use your standard for it. You can do that, or you can action point. Well, you can attack, but I mean, yeah, you're just pretty much. Having to stand up pretty much uh, did you in for that. But yeah, okay, it's time to move I'm... action. Okay, uh, instead of uh, doing any of that, I'm just going to do pri uh, piercing strike this time around and all that, and hopefully Free can get into a spot where he's behind him. Don't forget, man, on Rapa Strike, 
Every time that thing attacks you, you get a basically a, a free attack back on it. So don't don't forget you you forgot to take that about uh, a couple times since you've hit that thing. Uh, okay, thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this time don't uh, we're gonna don't do a uh, precise strike. All right, gotcha. Dex versus reflux. A needle sharp point slips past armor and into tender flesh, and it does with a twenty one. Twenty one. Sweet. Twenty one versus reflux. So one weapon plus dex modifier damage. Ten damage. Very nice. So. I think uh, it. Do I? Can I still take my miner? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay, and then as my minor action, I'm going to take that uh, potion that uh, free gave me earlier, and that's just uh, ten. Where Where are you getting plus six to damage? Because your your dex modifier is a three with well, a sixteen. Uh, I must. Thought my modifier was a four plus uh, two because of the weapon. So yeah, that's my mistake. Sorry. No, sorry. You, the only now when you're when you're doing attacks, Leopold, you add in your proficiency, your half level. Now attacks, you add in the works. Whenever you're okay. doing damage, okay. the only the only thing you add in for your damage is just your your stat modifier, whatever it calls for. Unless it's a magical item, and then you'll add in that plus also. You okay, should get a, you should get a plus bad. one for two weapons too. For the feet he has. You gotta add that in too, yeah. He does have that in there, so you know that's the. But he's being based off of strength for just basic attacks, but. You know, you're going to get a, a plus one plus your plus three, so you'll basically be plus four to damage. So I've been doing it wrong for a while. My bad. It's all right. It's, uh, we'll just push it eight damage on the drake. Oh, the, the drake is uh, in pretty bad shape now. All right. Gimli, you're up. I'm gonna approach this Drake, and I'm gonna use a spinning sweep. You gonna you gonna approach if I hit, and say hi. Yep, and I'm I'm going to knock him prone if I hit him. <clears throat> Gim going with an encounter power. Gotcha. That's a hit. You sp you spin beneath your enemy's guard and then sweep your leg through his. An instant later, to knock him head over heels, and you did do that. Strength versus armor class. So, one weapon plus your strength modifier, and you knock the target prone. Encounter power down, sir. He has unstoppable left. Oh, nice damage, Gim. He's in a weakened condition now. Let's go ahead and take a uh, about a ten minute break, y'all. I'm doing the, the dance over here. And prone. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna put him prone, and we are gonna go on break for a couple minutes, and I'll see you guys uh, hopefully in about about ten minutes or so. Yep. Let's do it. All right. I'm going to uh, shift down five feet. So you're running away! No, no. You coward! Um, I just feel like killing your pet. And I'm going to do another wolf pack tactics, and I'll uh, shift Gim up next to me. 
Okay. Yeah, once my kitchen gets done, guys, I'll be doing cornbread also. Ooh, very nice hit. Five damage. The Drake is still up. Uh, and Anything then else? I think I'm going to do a, um, a healing word on myself or inspiring word on myself. Okay. Deduct that surge. Add the five. Oh, nice surge plus five. And uh, that's it for the Peter. All right, free. What are you doing? What say you down there? Mr. Blackout. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, move around the dragon to the other side. I am no longer buddy, Dave. Oh. Okay, I'll get you. Also, guys, I will... I owe you guys some EXP. You I owe the thing? whole channel. No, I can't EXP. shift one square. That would be a normal movement. Cast uh, my curse on the Drake with a minor action. Ishmael, thank you for the follow again. Skeletor, uh, Otaku Boy, Bitch Pudding, Vicious Cat, Fuzzbox, TLOLTA, thank you guys for the follows. I do appreciate it. And then after I've done the curse, I'll cast a Eldritch Blast. 